Yeah, so uh, we're uh, Avalanche. Um, so you've got me, the singer, bass player, Stephen Campbell, and uh, we're uh, here. Yeah, I'm Veronica Campbell. I'm the lead guitar. Um, and yeah, we're um, we're really keen to be playing Moon Doll Festival, um, June third, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're just just going to be super awesome. We're keen to get up there and and um, get back into Queensland. We haven't been there since uh, I think late last, last year. year. Yeah. So um, we're super keen to get back up there and uh, you know give the give the fans what they want. <laughs> Beautiful guys, good to speak with you again. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Thanks. thanks heaps for spending the time to say hello to us. <laughs> My absolute pleasure. So as you mentioned, Avalanche do return to Brisbane on June 3rd to play at the annual Moondoll Festival on at the Mansfield Tavern. So it's not your first time up here for it either, is it? No, no, no. no. We, so we've yeah. uh, been lucky enough to play a few times up in Brisbane now. Um, last year, I think, was probably the biggest for us um yeah, coming we, up to queensland we did i think two or three different shows up in queensland yeah. um and and yeah they've uh, they've always been the wildest shows i'll tell you that much everybody there is just crazy <laughs> <laughs> we feel like we've, we've met some of our most dedicated <sighs> fans in queensland yeah. oh for sure yeah <laughs> well, it's yeah. the first show it's the first show we ever had the first time we played there where people were actually lining up outside the door before the venue mm. opened for us we so. even had a couple of fans that traveled i think like three or four hours to mm. come see us which was just yeah, insane awesome. yeah that really says something <laughs> it does yeah and this this year's moon doll is uh like it's, it's an all Australian affair featuring established and up and coming bands like the Slankio, Regular Gonzalez, Piss and Fist, Chemical Prisoner, Engraved, Dirty Lies, Clam Sandwich, Javez Cartel, and more. So, do you know many of the bands? Like, who are you looking forward to playing with on the lineup and, and why? Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, pretty much all the bands that you've mentioned, we've mm -hmm. like, we haven't met all of them personally, but we've sort of been aware of them and we've like followed their pages and been following mm -hmm. them this whole time. Yeah, I'm really, really keen to see Piss and Fist. Yeah. I've been following them for quite a long time now and, um, same with the Silencio. I think they both just came off doing the bullet for my Valentine. Smash the pumpkins. Yeah, the Smash the pumpkins. It's just yeah. absolutely insane. Like, uh, it'd be good to just be able to talk to them and see how that was. <laughs> but they and both went really well, too. They both nailed it. I was at both shows and they, they absolutely nailed it. It was good to see. Yeah. So good. It's so good. Yeah. Chavez, Cartel as well. I think they just came back from like a UK tour. So, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. See those guys, chat with them. So how important is it for the Australian music scene to have something like Moondoll that's an, an all Australian fair? Like it doesn't have to be all the big names, does it? No, not at all. And I think especially with Moondoll specifically, like uh, I, I'm pretty sure they're they're sort of trying to give up like a big leg up to sort of more women in, in rock and, and metal and punk, which is such a great thing to see because honestly in metal, rock and punk, like there is a lot of gatekeeping, a lot of all that sort of stuff but um but i mean i recently i would say in the past few years there's definitely been a lot more like uh uh female up-and-coming rock stars and punk artists i mean amal and sniff is a great example but um but like seriously yeah like it's just so good to see that people are actually really 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 getting behind this idea and and, and, and pushing forward yeah it's good to see like more festivals with just all aussie bands and not just like wolf mother and as good as those bands yeah. are but like not just sort of the typical big names kind of thing um we played like thrashville in new south wales last year um which is a similar kind of vibe just all aussie act and uh yeah same with moondoll we're honored to be a part of it and there definitely needs to be more festivals like this mm, it's oh, great. Yeah. oh yeah so what can we expect from the avalanche show at moondoll well um we've been trying to uh finish up writing and recording a new sort of selection of songs to possibly think about doing a album or ep towards the end of the year mm -hmm. so um i believe we're going to be throwing in a few new songs that no one's really heard yet mm -hmm. um that we've been um that we've been trialing and testing out and seeing which ones are going to work and which ones are going to going to going to get the best reaction mm -hmm. so i think that's really going to be the the best look forward for us is just some absolute brand new songs that no one's ever heard before um but also the usual just a good, obviously, a good time <laughs> obviously yeah we still yeah. have the old the, the old favorites and and what you would expect us to, to see when you come see us yeah. but um i'm super keen to get some of these new songs out there and, mm -hmm. and and just see what the reaction is i think they're gonna really set set people a lot <laughs> Very good. and before that of course you support the legendary the poor on may the 26th that should be a lot of fun yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, really they're, they're absolute gunners in the rock industry at the moment you know they've just come off tour doing a album European. launch in europe yeah. which is which is insane like uh, i think before that they were touring with rose tattoo um we've managed to play with them once or twice before and they've, they've just always got such a good show so yeah, i just right. mean to play with nice them. Too. 
Yeah, Sorry? for sure. Good bunch of guys too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Right, when you see Skinny, tell him Crispy said get fucked and see what he reckons. <laughs> yeah, I will do. Sure. <laughs> I guarantee you won't get in trouble. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the last time we spoke was for the release of your song "Sweet Baby Brown Eyes" back in January. So how was the response to that song? Yeah, it went. It went really Absolutely good. Absolutely better than really we expected. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Went, I think. I think it was probably the best song that we've ever done on the radio. Suicide. Yeah, side. yeah it only like second or third week of release. It got like number four on the community that's radio chart awesome. here in Australia. So that's we never expected that to happen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Like more so, further than any of our other songs for sure. Mm -hmm. And like, um, as far as the streaming and the actual touring sides, like it was just absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. We played some places we've never played before, like Adelaide. Um, some more rural places in New South Wales. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was just an awesome tour to start yeah, the year really off. Like really, really set us off. I think probably ended up getting us a lot of the places that we're playing now, like so the, the poor support show. Mm -hmm. We did a support show for Child, um, um, and yeah, a yeah, Melbourne yeah. blues band that came in and did their tour afterwards as well. Um, so yeah, we, it was just such a great experience for the whole band and, and, and really like just push everything forward. Mm -hmm. And that song, of course, was a re-release -re and a re-recording of one that your dance band Avalanche did back in the 70s, I believe. Like, does, does, does the success of that mean you're going to be doing a few more of them and pumping them up a bit? Well, I yeah, think maybe. that's the first actual, like, cover song that we've released, yeah. like, uh, like studio-wise, like, actually going and recorded sort of a cover. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah, we might look into doing that for sure. Like, I know specifically this was a big thing for us because it was you know obviously my dad's song that he wrote back in the 70s with their band avalanche which took the, the, the name from so we definitely wanted to have some sort of like a way to like pay homage to yeah them. yeah to really just sort of you know pay homage to that and and like he taught me how to sing mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff you know so but yeah they've got a whole album worth of songs so we may <laughs> cover a few more hey, eventually well, why not? they're all quality songs why not yeah, they're really good. I enjoy <laughs> oh. that album. I heard it before I met Steve, so I know I know about them way before oh, we yeah. even formed this band. So yeah. it's funny; yeah. it really did do actually quite a lot from back in the day. Like we even have people like messaging us still to the day yeah. to this day, even from like, I think Ireland someone someone was in Spain. Sweden or yeah, something like they, that, they and they like sent us a photo of the record that they had, yeah. and they like, "Wow, oh, we still got this." But that's special. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> And you mentioned earlier on you've been writing and recording some new material. So what can you tell us about that? Is it is it what people would expect from Avalanche or is surprised? Absolutely. More and more more of the, the hard rock and party yeah. anthems that we've come there's to. There's definitely some to do. surprises, but it's still us. It's, yeah, yeah, like um it's, there's not gonna be any ballads or anything mm, like that. We <laughs> we recently sort of did a uh, like a demo session. We went into the like a small sort of home studio and just recorded every single new song that we that we knew of. Um, that we had sort of planned and um and now we're just yeah going through all of that and like trying to figure out like all right we should work on this or we should do this we should do that we should do that and trying to figure out what our next sort of release schedule is going to mm -hmm. be like we definitely want to aim for an album i think um but i mean obviously just we'll have to see how money goes and all that sort of <laughs> stuff <laughs> you mentioned that you've recorded everything that you had so what the hell, what's the process now of going through it and choosing what stays and, and what might potentially go onto an album well, it's interesting, eh? Because I, I think the biggest thing for us was just going back, really listening to it all ourselves and just like, you know, like on different speakers, especially like I know you listen to it in the car, it sounds different to listening to it on your phone as opposed to listening to it on a stereo system. So th there's all of that that comes into it. And yeah, this time we're also working with a producer. Uh, he's called Steve James. We worked um, with him on our last two singles and he's worked with some pretty big names he's worked with like airborne he worked with sex pistols because he was from the uk oh, he's wow. worked with like cold chisel and the screaming jets and all those guys so yeah next step after we kind of get our own sorted would be to show him the track sort of get his input on them and then yeah head into the studio with him very good so we've established we've got may the 26th with the poor we've got june the third for moondoll what else has avalanche got what's, what's playing next after that uh, yeah, we've got quite a few things in the works. Some we can't talk about yet, but some oh, we can. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, um, we, we can say that we're actually doing a residency at, uh, here in Sydney at the Duke of Enmore in Enmore. Yeah. Um, so we're playing every Thursday night in June. We haven't announced that officially on social yet, but it's cool. We can we can say that. It's <laughs> so yeah, there'll be some free shows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there'll be um, free entry shows. We're playing with a different band each Thursday, so that'll be pretty cool. And yeah, we um, also have another show in June. I don't think we can announce it yet, but stay tuned for that. So that's going to be. It's going to be a big one. <laughs> it's going to be a good <laughs> one. Quick, June's nearly honest. 
<laughs> yeah, we got a few more. We got a few more pending. So just keep an eye on like socials, and you, you'll you'll see. <laughs> Beautiful guys. Well, thanks very much for joining us today. Best of luck with the pour. Don't forget to tell Skinny what I said. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's for a beer up in Brisbane. <laughs>